What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video of the Roll Down Loft. Just got back from my buddy's place and I was able to pick up some birds. I didn't count exactly how many birds they are, but I think he gave me 12. Um, should be six hens and six cocks. Let me just double check. But I believe there should be 12 birds in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, never mind. There's 13 birds. I think there's seven cocks and six hens so i probably have to go find another hen somewhere um these birds are just pretty much from all over the place a buddy knows some of the backgrounds of these birds but some of them are unknown i believe everything in here has been flown out and he says everything rose at least 10 feet or better uh the only ones that might not have been flown out is this blue bar barless right here and that blue bar barless and I think that grizzle in the back that is a SA slash Mason crossbird and all this other stuff I'm not sure got this really cool opal bar slash white bar right there got another one right here this one looks much cleaner I think that would be considered a lavender grizzle maybe it's just a red uh, ball head yellow bird blue bar pied lavender and i don't know if that's considered a dun or a chocolate but that's what it is so yeah these are pretty much the birds i'm gonna be breeding this summer um i don't really care how they pair up uh, i'm just gonna put them together and let them make some babies the only one that only pair that i think i'm gonna pair up is the two barless but everything else uh, whatever pairs up together pairs up together but just get a quick close-up for you guys just so you guys can see the birds in here very very colorful birds yep so they're gonna sit in here in quarantine for like a week um nothing's wrong with them but i did order some four and one i'm just gonna treat them for like a week make sure they're all good um just gonna get them situated i still have to get my water feeders clean i haven't done that yet but i did get the kit, kit box somewhat clean so they should be good to go in here i do have the main loft somewhat set up all the way um the only thing i need to do is do slightly more cleaning not much because i already cleaned like 90 percent of it but it's pretty much set up like how i had it set up before i quit but everything's in here. Um, I don't plan to use all the nest boxes unless I end up getting more birds. But I don't know how many birds I'm going to be putting in here. I really don't want to get too many birds. Because when the time comes for me to have to get rid of them, it might be an issue. Uh, because um, once it comes time to that, everything's going to have to go and go fast. So still debating on how many birds I want to get. But as you guys can see in my old videos, pretty much the same exact setup. All cleaned up. Uh, one of my subscribers did mention that he had a mice trap in his loft to keep the mice out. And said he was able to catch one maybe like every day or something. So I think I'm going to set up a mice trap in here just to prevent mice from living in here like how they did before. And making babies and kind of spreading diseases and sickness to the birds. I don't want that to happen. I don't think any of my birds ever caught any sickness from mice in here but... Um, I do want to take some precautions, so that's what I'm going to plan to do. Um, probably going to stick the mice trap in here. Uh, I'm going to block this off so none of the pigeons can go over there. Then I'm just going to set like maybe one or two mice traps over there. So every time a mice thinks that it's going to come live in here, it'll go over here, try to eat some food, and it'll smack and kill himself. So that's the plan for this corner. But everything in here is pretty much done. I just have to get my water feeder clean. I don't remember having any grit, but I have the grit tray set up already. Got the food tray set up already. Um, I just have to go get some um, wood pellets and lay them down. Then this should be ready to put birds in. I did sanitize it the best I could. Still looks a little dirty, but I think it should be good to go. Um, smells much better. I was able to clean it the other day, and there was like a freaking pile of dead mice in the corner. And I think it's because from my earlier video when I told you guys I had this glass 
glass bowl over here with uh, tons of mice poison. So I'm assuming that family of mice ate that poison and all died. So I got that all cleaned up. So it doesn't stink anymore. It smells fine now. Uh, like I said, just gotta get the wood pellets and get the birds going. But yep, main loft is say 98% ready to go. Just needing the wood pellets put in here. Um, I still do need to go pick up some feed. I grabbed some whole corn. I do still have a whole 50 pound bag of wheat. I still plan to go get some Milo. I did get some chicken layer pellets for the birds because that's why I used the previous years for my breeders and the babies always turn out very, very big and healthy. So that's just how I'm gonna do it. And also that would help with the egg production of the hens. Uh, it will help them get them their calcium, so that's a plus side. Plus, that's way easier for the birds to feed their babies, so. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for today. Just the new birds here, just trying to get them uh, settled, get everything ready. Um, still debating if I want to get more birds. I think I am, but I'm not going to get anything special unless someone ends up giving me something special for free because like i told my buddy these are just birds that i'm just going to play with for like the next three to five months and after that if he wants them back he could take them back if not then probably going to find new homes for them but these are going to be my breeders for this summer hopefully they'll be able to make some babies hopefully i have time to at least try to fly some birds out for like a couple months um right now it's mid-may and if i could get them to lay eggs in hopefully two weeks um, I should be able to get some babies hatch by maybe closer to the end of June. Then I may be able to fly birds in August, August, September, but it's a long shot. But um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, I think this is a great group of birds. Um, very, very colorful. I've always had a thing for colorful birds, so we'll see if I can bring in anything colorful, anything special. Um, Probably will try to bring in a couple more birds, but we'll see what happens. Like I said, I still wanted to raise like a couple of utility birds, so if I can get my hands on maybe a couple pairs of giant runts, or if I decide to bring some of the king pigeons from the outside loft over here, over here, then I'll throw them inside the main breeding loft. But uh, other than that, um, the plan right now is just to get these birds accommodated, and hopefully they all start pairing up and they can start claiming their nest box and making their nest and make some babies so that's pretty much it for the video guys so thanks for watching if you like my video go ahead and click that like button if you aren't subscribed go ahead and click that subscribe button if you have any comments suggestions or questions leave them down below thanks for watching and i'll check you guys out next time